Howdy folks and welcome back once more to Let's Play Mind Magic 2. Today we are going to be getting at least one plus. We're probably going to be doing at least Brynhildas. We might tackle Rove and Dark Mages as well. However, I remember the Sorcerer plus being something of a pain in the ass to get. So I'm not really looking forward to it. So we're going to do Brynhildas first. That is going to be requiring us to trade our flail to her. So she can use that instead of her flam- Oh, she can't use the flamberg. Alright! Yeah, alright. That's mildly troubling. Okay. Well. Uh, in that case, I guess we'll just have gold leaf- what is it, 8-4? And we want to go to middle gate. Come in, pop in the inn, and... It begins, um, this is gonna be, well, I was gonna say this is gonna be a navigational issue for her, but I actually don't think it'll be that bad. I think she can just take the ferry across the river, and then just hike the rest of the way to fight the jouster. So let's go ahead and, uh, remove everybody. Alright. Brunhilda sets out on her own. Let's go ahead and flip over to the middle gate here. She sets off knowing what must be done. Flamber get the ready. And a stomach full of probably fried peasants and wolf nipple chips. Surely she is ready to face this great jouster. Realistically though, I'm actually mildly worried. Oh shit, it might actually be tougher to get over there than I thought. So I think it's this area right over here. If I recall correctly. Go to map. Oh, it is gonna be more challenging to get over there. Um... Can she... Is she a forester? She's a Pathfinder. I think that I think that'll let her walk through forests. Maybe. Uh no. She should be able to walk through forests, but she can't. Why? I don't know. No, that's the guy that teaches us to do things. Oh my god, seriously? There it is. Very about crossing. All right, so we're outside of middle gate now. So we'll go there and we'll go here. Oh my god, seriously! Oh, I managed to get lost. I'm gonna go east from here, north from here. There we go. Ah, uh, in that case, cause yeah, she's not gonna be able to climb the mountains. She needs to climb these mountains. All right, well. Where is, is it here? Yes, Mountaineering. Brunhilda. All right, so now she should be able to just hike over the mountains. Oh my god, fuck off. Seriously, do I have to rest first? No. Why can she not? Because this will let her get into the mountains, but she can't head south, which is where she needs to actually go. And now we're, I think, behind like Orcon or something. Yeah, oh, she's just gonna... Brunhilda's just gonna have a good time with these fights. Um... I mean, unless we can get there in a more roundabout way? Let me have a look at my maps here. Uh... Not looking like it. Cosmic sludge dri drips from the sky. Yeah, no. That is just a recipe for me- all right, for maximum sadness. Okay, we're in we're in the woods. Some griffins. Ah, uh, these guys are probably gonna kill her. Maybe can she run? Yes. Okay, we're fine. Huh. I mean, here idea. I might be overthinking this. Let's just come into town. Actually, maybe I'm not, because I think... I think if I have gold leaf... 
cast water walk. Yeah, it's outdoors only. And if we come inside, I think it wears off. Actually, idea. Will you guys bless us to have water walking? Give me a water walk, you fucks. There we go. Yes, yes they will, okay. Not a problem then, I do not want to exit the DOS. Alright, so she's good. She's got water walking and all that stuff. Magic mapping, but water walking is the big one, because that means we can just hoof it right down here and this will be fairly straightforward. Okay. Kind of avoid the encounters where we can. We do have to be careful because buffs wear off uh, at the turn of a new day. So this should be it right here. A flurry of motion pervades Jouster's way. Banners fly and trumpets blare as ladies and nobles view the tournament from colorful tents. Riding a restless stallion, the Dread Knight gallops towards our knight. Lance Brace ready at his side. The Dread Knight and a Conjurer, of course. The Conjurer? Just energy blasts, not a big deal. This Dread Knight, though. Four attacks for one die 70. And he has a speed of 50, which Brunhilde is faster than. So the Conjurer we can probably just ignore. This dude, though, he might actually, like, fuck her day up. Eh, 89 damage. Ah, only 20? Come on, Brunhilde. Brunhilde! Come on! Kill him! I think that Conjurer just wussed out. Alright, we got him down to 50 hit points. So if she can kill him, she just has to not roll ass for damage. I mean... Let's see, I don't suppose... No. I would say, if we wanted to jump to the other towns, we could probably pick up some, like, magical items that would make this a little easier for her. But Brunhilde's a badass. She doesn't need things to be easy. She just needs to fuck this dude's day up. I'm just gonna hold down A, and she's either gonna win or die. And there she goes. Alright, here. I'm gonna pull her out of the party. We're gonna sign back in so that I can just, like, immediately leave. Speed it up a little bit. If she had, like, a plus 30,000 weapon, like other people, she'd be fine. It's just that this flammer is, what, plus three? Plus four. Like, this is uh, very much a weapon too weak for this fight. But she just fucking killed his ass. Nice. Good job, Brunhilde. Get your ass back to town. And that was her plus. Easy peasy. Go ahead and have a nap. All right. So now it's Rove and Dark Mage. So at least it's a pair of the assholes. Okay, we're gonna rest. Come in here, everybody, no, everybody donate. I think we got it, didn't we? Yeah, all right, how are we looking on money? We have 250,000 gold pieces. So we can afford to rest a fair number of times, okay. So actually, before we do this, I wanna come in and save, just so I don't have to do it again. Okay. So now we have to do the row, the rove one, ha! Huh? The uh, the caster one, which is like a fucking castle full of puzzles. And for all of our sakes, I hope that that where are we just gives me the answers, because otherwise I'm gonna be like screeching in here. Sorcerers only, enter. Yes. All right. Uh, all that are even are less but odd. All that are odd become more odd. Sorcerers only. So I don't know where exactly we're supposed to go in here, so we're just gonna kind of follow it along. Go ahead and switch maps. I'm sure teleportation is probably banned. Despair. Door one, door two. So remembering what we remembered, it's all that are even or less even, yada yada yada. It's not one. It's one, it's always one. Door one, door two, door three, door four. It is one. Oh, hey, Pyrohydras. Not a big deal. They do a fire resistance. But a dancing sword should kill them. Or not. In that case, a Megavolts will kill them. Like, massive overkill. <sighs> okay. So, all that are odd are even. All that are odd are less odd. So it's, it, it says it's it's one. I'm gonna go with three. Man, I'm a genius. See, this is what happens if you take the wrong door. You just get a fight. 
which is going to just amount to Dark Mage throwing some serious death magic. Is there another sign? It's larger than one, but less than a crowd. Alright. Less than a crowd, huh? Well, it wasn't four. We have Warrior Maidens, a lot of Warrior Maidens. However, thankfully, we also have a lot of Mega Volts, and both of my casters can cast it. Now oh, and she's immune. Fireball? No. Uh, Rove, give her... Fantastic Freeze. Spell failed. Really? She has 50 hit points. Just, like... Oh my god, Dark Mage, you suck. There we go. Alright, we're gonna need to rest here. All our buffs are now gone. Octal. Octal is the one. So Octal, I think that's eight. Yeah, look at that. The largest prime. I think that's probably nine. And I have to be careful not to, like, beeline for this or we're going to get ganked by something. Biggest is the best. So, 12. Just make sure they're not going to pull any shenanigans. All right. So it looks like 12. Ah! Oh. They, they, they trolled me. It's probably 11. God, Megavolt is such a good spell. So freaking good. I'm just, come on, just die, lady. All right. I'm gonna rest again. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to throw something horrible at me. Or probably, more likely, they're gonna throw me into another set of bullshit puzzles. All right, let's through the door. The letter doors should be read in reverse. A, B, C. Do you see the light? C. Oh, it wasn't C, we have boneheads. These things explode. Uh, but they have 90 hit points. Oh, they do have magic resist. Like, everything in here has magic resistance, which is incredibly nerve-wracking. Do you see the light? But they should be read in reverse? So in that last room, it was probably the A door that we wanted to go through, because they're supposed to be red and reverse, but here there were five, so the reverse is the same thing. E, F, and G. Vowels are winners. So that'd be E, but if they're reading them in reverse, it should be G. Yeah. The first letter in I. Well, that's E. Which should be I. Nice. I can, uh, I, I, like, I can solve puzzles and then I immediately, I'm like, I should map all of this and, and go for the mapping and get us into a fight that's totally unnecessary. Are my casters looking? They have plenty of mana. Iron Wizards, we're ready for you guys. With some Mega Volts. Okay, uh, Dark Mage is running low on spell points. Like, to the point that he has essentially enough to, like, fireball a thing and that's about it. Death's Doorway. Well, that's a nap. How are we looking? We still have enough money here. In the central chamber, locked in a stasis field, lies the evil wizard Ibmug. Alright. What is the access code? I do not know. Actually, no, we do know this. It's 46. We learned that, I think, in Atlantium. Oh, incorrect. 23. Alright. Equilibrium is essential. You must free my counterpart, Yek up, and return to the jurors. Okay, so that's one of the wizard castles done. I don't... Seriously, can I just run? Ha ha! Quick, easy exit. Okay. Well, I don't know where the other tower is that we're looking for, unless it's... Neutral zone, good zone. What? Oh, this is probably the other tower right here, then. Okay, here we go. Alright! 
No, just grabbing the maps. In we go. Illumination. I'm actually worried about our money because this fucker's expensive. This one's easy. One. No, it was two. Damn it. Uh, 130 hit points. Like, these guys got some good health on them. I super shock them? No. No, holy shit. You guys are immune to, like... Let's see... Ah, so they're not immune to cold. Which means that I'm going to nail them with 6-3, Fantastic Freeze. But it failed because they have magic immunity. No, they don't. Why is that failing? That mildly worries me. Um... Implosion. That one worked. Rove, can you implode things? You can. Alright! Well, I made this one fairly straightforward. Rhymes with door. I'm gonna guess four. The things lie. This game lies. And this is just a bunch of thieves. Like, this is fireball territory right here. If my guys could roll decent damage. The six sheep, six sheep. So that would be six. And it's just, it's just like flat, flat out lying to us. Alright. Just high tier death magic time. What do we got here? Twice the first two's double. So two and then four, I would hope. No, I just... Man, I had the other one, but this one is just confounding. I'm sure someone's going to come in chat and just be like, no, you're an idiot. Here's why. Come on, guys. It's just mummies. Resistance to cold, electric... Implosion? Nope. Nothing's immune to being imploded. Oh, shit, one of them was. I think that just dealt a thousand damage. Oh my god, you guys. I need you to not fucking waste your spell points. Thank you. Rest. Running low on cash. Sides of a pentagram. Well, that's five. Also a lie. And we're getting ganked by, like, an army of fucking lepers? That is a lot of lepers. I'm gonna run. Oh shit, unhandled.net framework error. Apparently, where are we did not like me running. They did not expect that level of cowardice. Okay. So we did this one. Is it gonna be lepers again? Yes, all right, I guess we're gonna fight lepers. Oh, yeah, the combat window broke. That's... Can I bring it back? Show... Oh, I don't even know what that would be. Shop inventory, scripts, encounters while in combat. There it goes. All right. Okay, there's less lepers this time, which makes me feel a little bit better. The downside is that there's still a shitload of lepers. Um, so I guess... We're just gonna megavolt these things down. Like, that's all we can do. Ideally, we won't run out of mana before they're all dead. We might. It's gonna be close. Freaking. Eh? No. Uh oh. Thankfully, fireballs work quite effectively against them. Alright, now we're both out of mana, so the party can just attack, and we're gonna search. Volatile gas. Freaking 2,000 gold pieces. Ah, Almost a dozen. You know what, fuck it. This game lies. Okay, now we're going all the way around. High action gameplay. So what is our hand? The alphabet is reversed. Alright, same thing. Castle guards. Uh, these guys actually do drop pretty good money, though, so that counts for something. And they're also susceptible to death magic. Let's go ahead and just open it. Horribleness. Battle axe and a crossbow. 23,000 gold, though. 
That's going to kind of empower us to... Oh, no. Wow, well, that's only one trickster and a bunch of lepers. These are random encounters, too, by the way. Like, we're just getting unlucky here. That's okay. We have death magic. Just spam them with mega volts. We need spell points, right? This one should just run, yeah. Okay, go ahead and just open it. And yeah, like we're gonna rest anyway, so I'm not too worried. A little bit of gold, some gems, and a plus four longsword. Okay, so the alphabet, it's Z's end. So A. U and U. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I didn't mean to move forward there. I mean, this is a fight we can handle, like, Omega Volts. Oh, I was gonna say, Omega Volts should kill these guys. But they're immune to electric damage. Not implosions! Nothing's immune to implosion. No, just you. Uh... Because what they've done is, like, the last one, it was the letters above the doors that are reversed. So if it was, like, ABC, it would be CBA. But this is, like, the entire alphabet is reversed, so, like, A is Z. So I would need to have this in front of me. This is going to be kind of a crapshoot. Admittedly, a Lemurcon. Ooh. It's going to be good money, at least. So maybe we can kill it. Which... Dancing sword, not enough gems, oh my god. Casters, man, not even once. How many gems do you have? One. All right, so you're useless. Rove has 200. Oh, just fireball them. Vaporizing valuables, oh, is that what? I think vaporizing valuables might nuke your gems. All right, fair enough. Uh, I don't think Rove can Dancing Sword yet. So, like, complete overkill. I'm gonna have him just implode the thing, and it's immune, and I think it just ran away. All right, the lepers are running away. So when Rove's turn comes up, which... I'm gonna have him power shield us. And we're just gonna hold down the attack button, and I don't think these things are gonna be able to kill us before they've all fled. And here we go. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'm salty about that. Not enough gold. Yeah, we can't rest. There goes our valuables, apparently. The first on the right. I don't even know. I do know, however, that we are wussing the hell out of here. Our buffs have worn off, too, so getting to town is going to prove something of an adventure. And I did not mean to do that. And run away. And no, I do not want to rest. Uh, okay, so where are we? Neutral zone, evil zone. Oh shit, we might actually... Oh no, we might be trapped. Well, I don't think we'll be trapped. I think they give you ways to get off of these. Surface... Uh, we are on B4? Yes. Uh... Okay, so give me, like, a way that I can walk out into the water. No. Uh oh. Yeah, I think I think we might be in uh, in some trouble here. Actually, no, I think we're okay. Trade gems with dark mage. Give him ninety. Dark mage. Damn it, dark mage. Take me to 3 2 and go to B2. And this should get us from here. No, from here we can go east. And this is middle gate. Alright, we're okay. We're okay. We do, however, need to come back to the inn and lick our wounds. We're gonna need money. I'm gonna need to just 
probably go kill some dragons or something, or I could just pass him like a shitload of money from the rest of the group, which is probably what I'll do in actuality. Uh, I do think, however, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. So as usual, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you all had a good time, and I will see you next time when the adventure continues, and ideally we get our sorcerers their pluses. Until then...